The whole point of a vaccine mandate is to make people safer. But a vaccine mandate also means tons of police and military may walk off the job. Then at the end of the day, does a vaccine mandate make people safe? Well, where are tons of police and military walking off the job? Well, the Washington Post says that hundreds of thousands of U.S. service members remain unvaccinated, uh, which is leading to questions about possible military readiness. Uh, the L.A. County Sheriff says that 5 to 10 percent of their workforce could walk off the job. And so considering the, the I mean, is there any concern about that? Well, I would say what we point to or what I would point you to is evidence with uh, a range of companies, organizations. Frankly, the Department of Defense can also give you the up-to-date statistics on members of the military. I believe it's over 90 percent, but I would point you them in for statistics. Branches, but there are other problems in the world than COVID-19, <laughs> international terror, gang violence, murder, arson, drug what, dealing. What was, Is there any what, concern what about was the dealing high, with what was the, What was the number one cause of death among police officers last year? Do you know? COVID-19. So that's something that we're working to address. And police departments are working to address. If you look at Seattle as an example, which I know has been in the, some of the reporting, 92 percent of the police force is vaccinated, as are 93 percent of firefighters. 99 percent of Seattle's 11,000 employees have submitted vaccine verification or an exemption request.